Yeah, definitely. Uh, just being out in the field, you know, every player out there on the field builds confidence. You know, you're like, all right, I am an NFL player. You know, I'm meant to be out here. And I feel like every rep I had on special teams, you know, helped out with that, you know, last year going into this year. With so many guys being out, do you feel like there's more responsibility on your shoulders now when you're in the huddle or going out for a pass? I wouldn't say more responsibility, but I just know more is expected of me, I guess. Um, I, I wouldn't say I'm like carrying a load or anything like that, but I know that, you know, my number's going to be called um, and do my best to, to answer it when it is called. And how much, you kind of said that, but how much do you embrace the potential for maybe being asked to do more and you feel like you're in a position to do it better than you ever have been? Yeah, I mean, I'm love, loving this opportunity that I'm going to have this week. and. You know, I mean, that's what you play for. You know, whenever you're playing football, you're in there to play, play the game as many plays as you can, and be, you know, part of the impact to help the team win. And you know, hopefully, I can have a big impact on this week. And making catch across, catches across the middle. Not, not everybody is up for that. I mean, how did you kind of develop the mindset uh, of not worrying about taking a big hit, and you know, when you're making catches across the middle? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's something I've heard since like Pop Warner. You know, it doesn't matter if you uh or it's still gonna hurt if you don't catch the ball so you might as well catch the ball so it doesn't hurt as bad <laughs> did you ever get rocked on any of those before uh this past week no no just throughout the course of your career you know. oh yeah definitely have uh definitely there's some that i can remember that you know hurt but the ones those are the ones that i remember i also caught the ball and i'm like well, it didn't hurt as bad as if i, didn't, I hadn't caught it so can, can you relate nick to uh, i think you Sort of references this earlier, but a guy like this who hasn't had a lot of reps with Ryan, you know, jumping in there and playing mm -hmm. 60 snaps, you know, last game and the difficulty of kind of having that connection. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's some difficulty there, but I feel like it's it's a great learning opportunity for him. I was just talking to Chester about that. I mean, you can't really create that kind of situation, you know, to be in a game and play play so many meaningful snaps to have a chance to go win the game. Uh, so it's kind of like baptism by fire, and I feel like he's going to grow a lot going into this week. Uh, I can't wait to see how he responds. With, with Dez, you know, through the course of the season, how have you just maybe seen him grow? You know, fourth rounder was didn't wasn't on the initial fifty three, had to start out on the practice squad. How have you maybe seen him come along behind the scenes to to maybe be ready for this moment? Yeah, I mean, I've seen him grow every week. You know, uh, on practice squad, just making plays against our defense. Uh, and you know you see that confidence building in him. I feel like week to week, and you know the coaches also. I feel like saw the same thing, and that's why he ended up you know getting activated and getting elevated. And you know I'm just excited to see that same confidence show you know in a game time situation. After the game on Sunday, Ryan was sort of taking upon uh, himself the turnover, saying I got to be better. But as a receiving core, there are times where you kick yourself and you say, you know, man, if I had just been in this spot or been able to make the play, he may have even looked better than he did. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I'd feel that completely. And I mean, when he was saying that it was all on him, I'm like, nah, it's it's on everybody. It's on it's on me just as much as it is on on him. Um, you know, there's plays where there's a play that last pick where I'm like, maybe if I'd held the eyes of the deep the corner a little bit longer on my route, you know, he wouldn't be able to fall off and get the interception. So there's so many different things that happen every play, um, and there's so many plays in a game that you know it's never just on one person. Patriots Couple defense has had a lot of takeaways this year from what you've seen on film. What mm -hmm. makes them so efficient at that? Yeah, I mean, they have a, a lot of multiple different looks. I feel like they can confuse offenses pretty well, but they just play a real sound defense. Um, you know, everybody knows their role and, and plays to that, that role really well. Uh, so I feel like the key is just, you know, staying within ourselves and not worrying about them.